Hey guys, and welcome, or oh, welcome back. I don't know where you fit in, but Aquarius in the cross watcher. Hey, okay. We got some new colors today. We're using the Muse Tarot. We're also using Old Style Lenormand. The Old Style Lenormand, yeah. We're using both of those today. I know, I told myself I ain't opening up no cards until I move. <laughs> I was too excited. I couldn't help it. Okay. So let's jump right in here to, 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 to Aquarius. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and precise messages for the sign of something that's itching my leg. For the sign of Aquarius. What messages do we have? Or Aquarius on this lovely May day. <laughs> May day. Uh, May day. May day. May day. Somebody trying to get a message out. May day. Do you copy? Roger that. <laughs> Did they roger that though? I don't know if the message has been delivered or the message got through. Somebody's a May day. May day. May day. That's what somebody, I don't know if they, somebody really out here driving, um, helicopter, hella flying the helicopter or what, but. Somebody's trying to get a message across here. Somebody, There's some type of message that somebody's trying to get across out there. For one of you. For one of you's. Cross watches stuff for one of you's Aquarius. <laughs> uh, so what we got? God, universe, angels, spirit, gods, and ancestors. For the dear Aquarius and the cross watcher. We tell the truth up in here. You don't like the truth? <laughs> I don't know how they might work. Okay. The world. Cosmos. Hmm. So the world or the cosmos. This is the word. This is something. This is a completion. A completion happening. And then we have the nine of emotions, which could be a completion of self-love here. And then we have the victory. The victory in the Muse of Voices, which is the king of swords. Victory for that masculine Aquarius. I've been rooting for you, baby. Okay. Do you hear me? I've been rooting for you. Okay. Here we go. Or the masculine dealing with a female Aquarius. I've been rooting for whoever been needing their courage to get up and say what they got to say. Mayday. Mayday. Get it out there. <laughs> what messages do we have for Aquarius? First card out is the Muse of Inspiration. The Queen of Wands. Ooh. Oh, the King of Wands. I'm sorry, the muse is the king. So the king of wands. Ooh, somebody's taking action. Somebody's taking a leadership role. Somebody's passionate and inspired. Oh, ten of material. Somebody's on go mode. Like, I'm going to get that relationship. That's mine. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Queen of materials. Earth sign. There she is. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's back it up. Back it up. Back it up. So I feel... I feel I, I feel I could feel this story real intense, okay? Some masculine energy out there saw a man or um somebody trying to push up on what he felt like was his, okay? Or he heard through the grapevine, he got word of somehow, okay? And that set him right in King of the King of, of Wands, okay? Take he got up to take charge of his relationship. Okay, to make sure the tight was so the circle was so tight that it couldn't fit another person. So what you mean? Back up off of my shit. Says this king of <laughs> king of wands, queen of materials. Could be an earth sign woman, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, or somebody that you know they feel like nurtures them, or they're nurturing somebody that they see is their that's going to be their wife. Okay, and say so seeing somebody pushing up on her, he ain't like it. Mm -mm. So now it's time to tighten up. He's taking charge of the relationship. He got to have the relationship because he ain't nobody else about to get his woman. That's how he's seeing it. Wow, what happened over the weekend? <laughs> nine of materials. Who's single? This nine of materials. No, this ain't. This, yes, it is. This is the nine of pentacles. Single where? She's not single. She's mine. I don't know what you're looking at, partner, but she ain't yours. She's mine. Okay, wow. Somebody's aggressive up in this thing, okay? I ain't saying nothing. Five of cups, though. Five of emotions. Something got somebody. Oh, my God. Somebody went into a relationship and somebody's disappointed about it. What else?
somebody wanted to take action to have a relationship making somebody their wife. But I feel like that person is no longer single. And now somebody's upset. What the hell happened over the weekend? Voice of four voices because that person has retreated. The emperor and the empress is right here on the bottom of this bitch. What is going on here? Did somebody retreat from somebody to go be with their emperor or empress or? But that's not what I feel like. I feel like a motherfucker. I feel like this queen or this king, whoever, whichever one. I feel like it's the queen. We're going to say her because she would have been the one. Well, the, the whole reason I feel like the king is really muscle and buffing up. Like he coming out in the king of inspiration that's fire he coming out as the king of wands so that's like leo energy i mean he lays it on thick he big boss he ain't playing back the fuck up type shit you know what i mean so he somebody's taking charge of a relationship why because that's their wife because they see somebody as their wife and because they no longer want this person single they want this person off the market asap asap rocky asap <laughs> But then we got some emotions coming in. Oh, maybe this ain't because they disappointed. Maybe it's because they missed this person. They missed this person because this person done retreated from them. And now they done not on top of that. Somebody definitely got word through the grapevine that somebody was trying to push up on a woman, on a emperor, on a empress. And they ain't like that. So they taking charge of the relationship right now. Not now, but right now. Okay? She's not single anymore. So don't push up on her no more. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying, bruh? <laughs> You know how men be getting animosity and shit. You get they let their nuts hang and shit like that. Y'all know how y'all are. Tell me about this king of tell me about this muse of inspiration, the king of uh, fire. Scythe. Oh I might even pronounce that wrong. Sith Scythe? Scythe? I don't know, but that's a hatchet. And the masculine ain't playing. <laughs> Whoever he is, he ain't playing. Don't play with me. You better back up off of what's mine. Caution, danger, warning, decision. The, the Sith portends the portability of an accident, crash, or serious injury. Take this card as a warning. Be extremely, be extremely cautious and hopefully avoid misfortune. What? In a relationship spread indicates a sudden conflict and a serious threat to a partnership. The ability to cope with the crisis required. What the fuck? Tell me about this. See, sight. Tell me about this card right here, number 10. Page of swords. Page of, page of cups reverse. What the fuck? Did somebody start acting controlling all of a sudden? It's a threat. This is saying that it's, could, it's a hatchet. Like it could bury the Patrick partnership. The devil. What the fuck? Somebody getting obsessive. That's what this is. Ooh, he possessive with that. He say, I can't never leave him. Bitch, I better not put you looking at my... And then I mean it. Ooh, it's that. Ooh. Whoa. Somebody is obsessed a little bit. They in their feelings deeply. Obsessed in their feelings. And they willing to fuck somebody up about what's theirs. Don't make them get crazy, Aquarius. Uh-oh. I hope, what do, do this resonate with me? <laughs> if they are, they in the back still. I don't even know nobody. That's what they say. But you know what I mean? That's what people been saying. Somebody is obsessing emotionally over the situation here. Page of Cups reverse. Page, page of Cups, page of, page of emotions reverse. Says that they haven't spoke about it. They just sitting around obsessing. Running around in this fire energy. Keep, <laughs> Swinging this thing, keeping everybody off of you, but not saying nothing to you directly. That's for somebody. <laughs> oh my God. Ten of materials. This person is defending this shit. Off with their head. This motherfucker is defending the stork, yes, because they feel like this is you, this relationship. This is the stork. You know, that's where we tell the kids the babies come from. <laughs> so the stork is had it's like a newness, a brand new beginning, a newness, a new a new birth. And the clover is a good luck charm. So but let me look up. Uh, and then the fish says that there's a new beginning. The bear says that somebody is protective over it. <laughs> protective over what? The house and this lady. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh gosh, guys. I don't know if I want to laugh for you or cry for you. I just don't know. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know if this is dangerous or not. But this person ain't playing about you. Changes, care, loyalty to principles. That's the stork. Changes, care, loyalty to principles. Tradition. The stork card symbolizes important life changes for better or worse. Depending on the neighboring card, it could bring a pleasant news. In the end of the stage in time, it's coming with the clover, baby. So that means it's bringing in pleasant news. That somebody's changing for the better because you are their good luck charm and they cannot go without you. They cannot see anybody else having you, the person that's supposed to be their wife. They cannot see that you go. No, they cannot see that. They can't see you with nobody. I can't see you being with no one else but me, baby. I can live in whatever. I can't even stand to think about you touching another man. So, somebody that got, this is going to be for somebody else. Somebody realized how much that you meant to them. Why? Because y'all going through all of this, okay? And the thought of another man putting their hands on you <sighs> crushed the emotions. It made their ass disappointed. The thought of you with somebody else hurt their feelings. So, that's how a motherfucker realized, damn, damn. This is my woman. This is my woman. This is my woman. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to say I could feel the emotions already. I'm a little feeling a little aggressive myself. Okay. Tell me about the clover and the stork for Aquarius, please. The clover and the stork. Eight of voices. Somebody's been trapped in their head. Or they still are. Or they realizing that they've been. Because now this feeling saying, oh my gosh, my heart is breaking because she's walking away. Because because, because she's going, what, 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 what? No. <laughs> Hanged muse. All the stagnation. Somebody got tired of waiting. Somebody got tired of being juggled. Somebody got tired of you juggling if you're going to come in or if you're going to leave out. You don't fucking know. Somebody don't got time for the bullshit, so they walked away. They walked away, but then you heard somebody else was trying to pursue them. And they put you in your mind. Put you in your mind big time, and it made you even feel sad. Then that's when you realize, no, this is my woman. This is my wife. This is The queen of pentacles is a wife, okay, to the king of pentacles. This is, but she belongs to moi, okay, queen of materials. That's when you realize, like, no, or somebody. That's when somebody realize, uh-uh, hanker, I got to lock it down. Put, you know what the anchor is on the ship, right? The anchor goes down and we going to stay a while. Somebody's locking it down. That's my wife. She can't be with nobody else but me. Fuck that. Tell me about the anchor for Aquarius. I feel it's a woman too. It's a woman and a man. Because it starts singing. She's mine. You made and had them once, but I got them all the time. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> so somebody, it's two different stories. It's a woman out here holding on to a man, anchor. Uh, but be, I don't know why she's holding on when it, some other women had him once, but she got him all the time. I don't, I don't know, but you need to let that go, baby, because you're living in an illusion with the seven of emotions, okay? Um, but that's just a small for some, some woman or two out there. You know who you are, okay? Now, Back to the script. Sorry. Not that you're not important because you are. Okay. Now, for the person, as this other man, now this man out here that's sitting here putting his anchor down, okay, because he realizes you know, he don't want no other options. Seven of Cups. He's thinking. He's looking. But he don't need the option. He don't need to look at it. Look at his hand. He already know who the fuck his option is. Right there. Boom. So there he is with his option. All he need to do is shoo away the rest. Okay. Yeah. Uh-uh. He don't need that. You see what I'm saying? Somebody's ready. This man is so sure. He don't want no other option. He's want the victory. The victory on the bottom of this card, too. Oh, no. Six of Voices says that I'm, I know which option that I want to sell away the common waters with. I know which option that I want to put my anchor down with. Because it could be options. Or she could have options. And he's going to put. She the one got options. That's why he's like, no, this is mine. <laughs> he see her options coming in. Now he's like, nope. We're getting away from you. We're getting you away from these options, damn it. You mine? Anchor? Put the anchor down. Get the anchor out. 
Tell me about nine and materials in reverse. Yeah, because you ain't single. So if I'm taking you and Kama Waters away from your, your, your uh, m um, options, baby, you don't got none. If I'm taking you and Kama Waters, that means you're no longer single. You can't be having the options if you're not single. So how they going to get you? Mm. Huh? You in a relationship with me now. How they going to get you? <laughs> Checkmate. I'm sorry. But that's what it is. Some woman knew exactly what the fuck this was going to happen. And she said, checkmate, boo. It ain't no game to her, though. It's what she really wanted. But she had to play the game with you to get to where she needed to get. And now you see how much of a rider she is, don't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. And that rider of yours, you don't want to ride on the back of nobody else's horse, do you? Uh-uh. I'm sure you don't. No. Because y'all love birds, okay? Yeah. And the man finally see it. And it took him a tower. But he see. And he ready to put that anchor down. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but he ready. Sometimes it had to happen like that. Now you know for sure, and woman, now he know for sure, ain't nobody else better than you. It ain't going to be nobody that can take your place. So guess what? He put that anchor down. He going to be good because he know what, how it feels to lose you. And if he do something to, to make you leave, then he got to lose you. And then he got to go through this again. No, he's going to be on his best behavior, baby. Best behavior. So the voice that says it's an end to some type of ending is happening. An ending to somebody being single. Why? Because the balance is coming in here with the temperance card. Somebody can be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Don't have to be. But the balance is coming in here in the situation. The balance is being brought in here, okay? And let's see about this Ryder card because I, that's all I was say. I need to really know what's up with Ryder. But let's see the number one. It's, ooh, it's number one. So the wheels fall off. New visits, travel, movement. The car, this card brings important news. The neighbor, neighboring car highlight positive and negative. So somebody's coming in here to say something's over for something to begin. Some type of information coming in here. Yep, that's what it is. There's the information that you, that's what I told you. This information you heard. Uh, you the, the information that made you get possessive over this woman or over this man. The information made you get possessive. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Some information came in here on the writer card, and then it says nine of cups, nine of nine of uh pentacles reverse. Well, I don't know how that's gonna be possible. The information you heard, I don't know how that's gonna be possible because she's no longer available. We put an end to that single shit. She's in a relationship. We found the balance. We healing, bitch. Get the fuck up out my face. That's my woman. <laughs> Five of emotions. Send about five of the emotions for Aquarius. Yeah, because the thought of you being, look, the thought, the thought of it, the thought of it being over, the thought of you being, let me not say that, God, I'm nailed to the cross by somebody else. I'm sorry. That was in my mind. I had to say it. Somebody's bringing in flowers. Somebody's bringing in lilies to their lily, <laughs> hoping that they key still fit that heart lock. They might even be bringing a ring, but baby, you hear me? Somebody's coming. Somebody can't. I can't even stand thinking about you touching another man. I don't give a fuck what the case is. That shit's dead. It's over. You ain't touching nobody else. Cross represents karma, though. But this is a life lesson for somebody. So the cross is here because somebody's learning a lesson here. Somebody's learning a lesson because right now, this feeling that you feel... Where you the damn, I do not want to think about her or him being with somebody else. Okay? So now I got to get up and get on my ass and move. I got to make a move or she's going to be with somebody else. I got to make a move or he's going to be with somebody else. That there is your karma for something. It's a life lesson that teaches you when something, I don't know what your your lesson is, but there's some type of lesson in here that you should thought, that you should be thinking about and you should be understanding and wrapping your mind around about this time. Okay? So somebody, um, I don't know, it's, it's several lessons that could be in a, in, a, in, a, in a script like this. Well, people are being too afraid to stand up for what they love or what they believe in because of the thoughts of other motherfuckers. Or people are just not, you know, keeping their emotions on inside and letting somebody go when they literally love them. And then you have to see, you know, the thought of them with somebody else. Damn, that'll force your ass in action. So the lesson is that you don't sit your ass around not taking action when you love somebody. Because the possibility that them going to be with somebody else is out there. Okay? So that's what you're learning now. That you, when you love something, you don't wait on that shit. You go get it. Okay? I'm just putting that out there. You ain't, that ain't got to be a lesson. I'm just giving an example of what a lesson could be. But somebody's learning there's an end into a way here. 
And there's a lesson that's going to be learned for the rest of their life and carried with them for the rest of their life. Four of voices. Let's see what's up with that. Wait a minute. Tell me about the coffin and the cross here for Aquarius. The coffin and the cross. Tell me about the coffin. Muse of voices. The king of swords. We'll lay that to the side. Tell me about the coffin. This represents both of those cards. It's you. It's you saying something. You're going to have to do more than just say it. You want to prove it. Tell me about the coffin for Aquarius. Okay. Need I say more? What was over was y'all, right? What was over is what you're hearing through the grapevine about your woman becoming entertaining something else. No, 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 baby. Page of Wands, entertaining anything is dead. Coffin card. Why? Because I got the love offer she needs. I got the love she needs and I'm going to bring it to her. Oh, so you do got the love she needs. Ah, six of materials. You're ready to have equal give and take. But guess what? Also, you could be learning that you did. All along, King of Swords, you always had this love that you need, that she needed. You always had this love that she needed, that she wanted you to be for her. You always had that. You just didn't believe into yourself. But with this, your, your, your passion for this woman spiking up, the King of Wands, he don't give a fuck about no confidence. He is confidence, bitch. And somebody put you in a position to not care. Look how confident you are now. Look at you. Look how bold you are. Look how brave you are. Look how strong you are. That could be your lesson, too. You're a lot stronger than you thought you was, baby. Cause you got, and then, look, justice on the bottom of the car. Somebody could be dealing with a lever, but the justice is saying, look, ace of materials. The new beginning is starting. Did I put those cards out? No, Ace of Voices. That's what I showed. Did I show? Where's my cups? Didn't I just have my? Oh, I put them down right here. That's what I, I wanted to leave those out. I'm like, why would I put them back? I don't want. Four Voices. Somebody retreated. Now we got the shit. But then we also got the stars on the bottom, Aquarius Energy. And this was written. Okay. Tell me about the ship. Number three. Trust. Foresight. Growth. Opportunity. In a relationship, it shows a favorable period and changes for the better. It can indicate temporary relations on the road or in life. For example, a casual flirtatious. Nope. For y'all, this represents something long term. You got the ship and you got the anchor. You ready to move forward. You ready to have positive changes after a person has retreated from you. Because now you see, you see things clearly. That absence makes the heart grow fonder. King of emotions here. King of Mules of Emotion, that's the King of Cups here. All the emotions, as you can feel them. Five of Voices, okay? That's Five of Swords and the Knight of Emotions, okay? You can feel all your deep emotions and you can also feel the the the, the error of the choice and the decision that you made, the one that was bad. And now you're ready to come in here and offer this love. Because I do feel like it was back and forth. I feel like it was bad things done on both parts, but I feel like it initiated through the man. And then the woman, she started feeling some type of way, I don't, you know, so she's feeling how she's feeling out of hurt. And then the man don't see it. I don't know. But I feel like all of this nine of wands, inspiration, nine of, nine of, uh, nine of emotions. Somebody's been so guarded towards their wish fulfillment here, but that's over with the 10 of inspiration says that they're putting the burdens down. The guards coming down Two of inspiration. This is the decision that they made because that's what has to happen if they're going to have this victory. Somebody's putting their guard down. Muse of materials could be a uh, look. You know why he's putting his guard down, baby? Because he found a wife, and a man that found a wife is a man that found a good thing. That's all I got. No, <laughs> all right, let's do some romance angels. Look, ah, well, I feel excited. So, let's get some advice for you for Aquarius, God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. What advice do we have for Aquarius? Regarding this spread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five of Cups. Look, that's a good one. Let's go back to it. Release your ex. That's your card that came out. Now, I ain't saying somebody still with the ex, but somebody could be. But look at that. Five of Cups. What's the Five of Cups tell you? Somebody was crying. Somebody was looking back on them three spilled ass cups instead of looking forward to the two in the future, right? Now, 
Releasing your ex is not just a person, guys. It's also energy that you hold in when you're sitting there looking back to how you was hurt by your ex. Okay? So, so hurt by your ex that you can't move forward to be with somebody else because you just can't trust it. Somebody's releasing that. The ex, the energy of the ex, the hurt from the ex, all of that is being released. Time to clear your energy. That's advice. That's advice for somebody. But I do feel like, <clears throat> even though this is advice, I feel like... This is, this is advice to let somebody know that the reason that things are happening the way it is is because somebody has released their ex. Somebody has released the fact that their ex has hurt them or that it's hurt out there that can happen. They've released all that because they don't care no more. They're in the energy of the king of wands because they can't worry about that. They got, they're worried about the risk and they worry, they can't worry about the risk and what could happen bad. All they got to worry about is that they love you and that you... They can't stand you being with somebody else. So they came forward to worry about the fear no more. So that's what's happening here. Your advice is Aquarius. I feel like this will be to a woman. Okay. Might even a man too. But the man already know that he's released it. That's how he know he coming in here. So, but the woman don't. She's the confused one. Okay. She's the one that can't understand. Why now? Well, because now he's released the emotions from his past. He's released the three cups that he's been crying over all this time. And he can see clearly those two cups that stand in front of him. So he's coming in with passion. King of Wands energy. He's coming in with passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's what he's doing. So he's coming. And he's going to be singing with passion in his heart and his soul. Because he's released the past. He's no longer the five of cups where he cries over spilled milk. He's the five of cups where he chose the two to stand in. Pay attention to the red flags. But it's in the reverse. So I don't feel like, but I do feel, I feel like there, this is a message for a feminine where they're telling you this is worth waiting for. This is your soulmate. Okay. There's a wedding that could possibly happen that will happen, but I don't, they said, pay attention. You need to pay attention to how the disappointment from the past is being released. You need to pay attention to how the person is coming in here with the passion. But I feel like this woman is possibly being uh, maybe a little bit prideful, a little bit um, closed off because she's not looking at nothing. She's not trying to see it. Her feelings are still hurt, but she needs to grow the fuck up and get over it. And yes, I said it. Okay. I'm sorry to be so harsh with it. Okay. But this is what I'm saying. You still holding on. Anybody. This is his problem. His whole problem was that he stayed stuck in the past, looking towards what hurt him. So he can't move forward. The fact that you're allowing that to happen to you right now, that's not, that's not what's up. See what I'm saying? But I guess it's all a part of the, com the karma here. It's all going to be a part of the karma. That it is. It has happened in the way it has to. But guess what? The woman has to realize, okay, I got to forgive shit, okay? Because we all been hurt in the past. We all need healing. So how can you sit here and hold? We need to look at people like God look at them. How you can sit here and hold a grudge on the motherfucker on the way they was before they healed? Because I'm sure you did some old foul fuckery shit before you was healed too. So let's not even do that, baby. Let's not even do that, boo-boo, okay? Somebody ain't gonna like me for that, but I don't care. All right, that's what I got. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in your next video, and I do hope it helps. Namaste.